Ethan left me a message saying he wanted me to meet him here, but the why part was a little garbled, so I hope he's okay. You know, this whole thing reminds me of that time that Teresa faked that motorcycle accident. Oh, oh, and then that nurse got Ethan to, to proclaim his undying love just so she would stay alive. I mean, what a crock. Just stop it, Mother. That's all water under the bridge now. Ethan and Teresa are, they're finished. Ethan told me so himself. Ethan and Teresa are finished, huh? I am sick of you trying to kill me just to keep me from having one night of push-push with Miguel. You promised you weren't going to have sex with him. So I lied. You didn't have to torch the house down just to get him away from me. Talk about evil. I didn't mean to burn the house down. All I was trying to do was set a fire outside to create a diversion. Just got a little out of control. You're out of control, Kay. But not for long. Look, I don't care what you do to me. I am not going to let you make love to Miguel. He'll die if you do. Well, you can't stop me if you're dead first. <laughs> What's going on? I'm glad we got here in time to help save Charity and Miguel. She'll officially be my half-cousin soon. Yeah, I thought Charity was at home asleep. I'm gonna have to have a talk with her and Miguel later. I hate to sound selfish, but can it wait till after we get back to your house and learn the DNA results? I think everyone is anxious to know the truth. No, I don't know why you just didn't shoot yourself when I left you at Grace's. I mean, it's all over for you, Ivy. When those DNA results come back and Sam realizes what you've done, he's gonna hate you. And so is Ethan. Your life is gonna be ruined forever. I think it's all right if I look at the results. Of course, dear. You were a testee. What difference does it make if you read the results yourself or Dr. Russell reads them to you? Oh, I suppose you're right. Debbie's causing trouble again. <laughs> right you are, lad. I have to get those two lovers back together. They were so happy when they were here before. I don't get why they aren't together now. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. In fact, I love dancing with you just now. Okay, it's not easy for me being in the same place where I lost Sheridan, but with time and with you helping me, I'm gonna get over it. Anna, are you okay? Yeah, I just had the same feeling that I did when we were in harmony. Like the key to remembering my past was so close I could touch it. I'm gonna get that man and woman back together right now.
of the one who could sing so Cool your jets, man. Think before you act. I'm gonna go take their orders. Are we ready to order? Mm -hmm. We're yep. starving. <laughs> okay, uh, we'd like to resort special, please. Uh, fried plantains for an appetizer? Oh. Can you ask the chef if they can put some cinnamon and sugar on top? I've never heard of plantains prepared that way before. But I'm sure our chef can accommodate you, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Are we ready to order? Yes. Uh, I will have the swordfish. And I would like the pork chops. And for an appetizer, can we get an order of the fried plantains? And can you ask the chef to put, put a, a layer, layer of, of sugar and cinnamon on top? <laughs> yeah, but how did, how did you know what I was going to say? It's been ordered before, sir. Really? Oh, because my parents are the only ones that I've ever known a special order of fried plantains. My brother and I, that we wouldn't eat them any other way, so. <laughs> you, you and your brother, you say? What's up, man? You look spooked. Those two guys over there just ordered fried plantains in the same weird way. One of them said that he and his brother were the only two he ever knew who ate them like that. All the more reason to get those two lovers back together. Now, how do you figure that? It's obvious the woman is looking for a guy just like her first love. When her first love is here. I'm gonna reunite them right now. Gwen, Rebecca. I got your message to meet you here. Yeah, what is going on? I thought you and Teresa were finished. No, the kiss wasn't what it looked like. Uh, Teresa was uh, thanking me for saving her life. Again? Uh, there was a fire at Pilar's house. Was anyone hurt? No, no, thank God. No, uh, but uh, Teresa's coat caught on fire, and luckily I was able to put it out, and Teresa was just thanking me. Mm. So you said. I know what you're doing, and I want it to stop, Mother. Well, I can't believe you're gonna let Teresa get away with that. It's just another shameless ploy to try to get Ethan back. Mother? Oh, in fact, she probably set the fire herself just so he could rescue her. Ethan can kiss whomever he wants, okay? I'm not gonna trash Teresa to try to get him back. Ethan is my friend, and I do want him to be happy, even if that means that he and Teresa get back together. <laughs> get back together? What, didn't I raise you better than to use that kind of foul language? I need to get in touch with Dr. Russell. Is she still the chief Bennett's reading her DNA results? Mm. She and the Bennett's rushed over to the Lopez Fitzgerald because they got word of the fire. Last I heard, she was still there, checking on people. Huh. Maybe Eve already announced the test results. <gasps> Maybe Ivy's life has just gone up in flames, just like Casa Pino. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Is there anything I can do? 
to. Thanks for offering TC. And I don't think there's anything anyone can do. Well, maybe I can get on the phone and call your insurance company and they can send over an assessor to, to get you a check and give it to your family for a hotel or cloak. Well, what's wrong? We don't have insurance, TC. What? I, I missed several of the payments, and so the company canceled the policy. Oh, Lord. I didn't even tell Luis because he was so upset. You know, after losing Sheridan and then almost losing Teresa, that I, I didn't want to add to his worry. Well, Laura, why didn't you ask for help? I mean, you have so many friends here in Harmony. I'm sure Father Lonigan could have... I just... <laughs> I didn't want to burden anyone, you know. And look, instead, I've burdened my family with an uncertain future. Oh, don't worry about it. Every, everything's going to be all right. Work it out. I saw you talking to Kay. Where'd she go? Um, she had to fly. I'm really glad you weren't hurt in the fire. Oh, I'm so glad you weren't either. We can have such a romantic night together. About to make love for the first time. Well, at, at least we're safe. You know, we can make love another time. Yeah, but maybe we could just get the ball rolling now. <laughs> what? to make it with Miguel? Well, I am not gonna let her kill the man that I love. I'm gonna stop her from having sex with Miguel if it is the last thing I do. <sighs> Look, you can't reunite that man and that woman. Maybe they don't want to see each other. But they're perfect for each other. I saw them together when they were here before. Yeah, people change, okay? Maybe they hate each other now. It's just a coincidence that they're both here at the same time, but with different people. Yeah, but... If what if they really are brothers? You know, you tell each of them the other one is here, it could cause a huge fight. And when the manager asks what happened, everybody's gonna point to you. You could lose your job over this. Lose my job? Yeah, it's possible. Fried plantains with sugar and cinnamon. Mm. Fried plantains with sugar and cinnamon. Mm. I don't care what you say. Those two belong together. So, just tell me, how do you think that you're gonna get Ethan back after everything that he said to you? Not to mention that lawyer that you hired is gonna file that lawsuit for you. Whitney, all of that is beside the point. And the point is what? Why was Ethan kissing me back? because he was enjoying it. And why was he enjoying it? Because he still loves me. No, honey, that doesn't Wait, mean that he's He still... saved my life tonight. And soon, we will be a couple again. Very, very soon. Oh. oh, Pilar's house really did burn down. One less eyesore in the neighborhood. has the envelope and it's open oh 
And when Dr. Eve came here to play Burn Doctor, everybody followed. Oh, even Ivy's here. Oh, this is too perfect. Is it over, Ivy? <sighs> yes, Rebecca, it's over. It's all over. I hope everything was to your satisfaction. Uh, dinner was fabulous. Our compliments to the chef. Mm. Coffee? Beth? Mm. No, I don't have any thanks. <clears throat> Me either. It's late. We need to get some rest. Good night, then. Thank, Thank you. you. Well... feeling that the answer to my past was here, like it brushed right by me. Would anyone here care for coffee or dessert? Yes, I... <coughs> hey. Excuse me. Hey, it sounds like that cough's getting worse. <coughs> Maybe we should just get you up to the room. Put Good you night, your bed, man. okay? Yeah, thank you. Feel better, man. Thank you. I saw us here. My lover and I, we were here. I remember we were here. Ben, are you sure? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Have you ever seen me at this resort before? Seen you? Um. Do I look familiar to you? <laughs> Your mother's having rough go of it uh, with being paralyzed and in pain and on top of that she's got a battle for her rights to keep you know her name mrs julian crane so now i think i i think i will stay at the mansion my being there might be a comfort to her i'm sure it will you're a wonderful son ethan and a wonderful man that smoke that you inhale must be clouding your brain because I don't see Ethan getting drawn back to you, Teresa. Well, Whitney, there are a lot of things that you don't see. Like, like you living to please your parents instead of yourself. That you should be with Chad. That you should be a sooner. No, 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 don't even try to turn this around. We're not talking about me. We're talking about you. And your bizarre belief that a plan you received from Julian Crane in hell is going to help you get Ethan back. A, you can't use evil to get love. And B, I just don't see it happening. Well, you will. Just watch. I'm gonna go talk to Ethan and casually mention the damage the fire did to my house. And I bet you part of my windfall as Mrs. Julian Crane that Ethan will ask me to stay with him tonight at the mansion. Logic alert. Ethan doesn't live at the mansion. Uh, let's, let's go find my mother and, and tell her that I'm gonna stay at the mansion. Okay. And Gwen, I, I want you to stay over tonight. You know, I'll, I'll get our cook to whip up something before we go to bed. Wow, Ethan, that sounds really great. Great. Where are my children going to sleep tonight? Miguel's room is destroyed, and, and Teresa's, it has smoke and water damage. Well, Teresa, she can stay at our house. And Miguel could stay at Sam and Grace's, or Reese's, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's okay. Thanks, TC. It's no problem. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm just, I'm worried about Teresa. That's all. Well, don't worry. Eve says she's okay. Ethan took her to the hospital as a precaution. I know, but I, I still, I'd like to see her myself. Well, do you want me to take you? No. No, that, thanks for offering. I'll be okay. Oh, you know what?
don't suppose anybody taped the moment when Grace found out that John wasn't really her son and that TC was right? Oh, and that you hired David just to break up her marriage so you could get back together with Sam. You know what's really amazing, though, is you do not have a scratch on you. I would have thought that Grace would be the mouse that roared and just rip you apart limb from limb the minute she found out the truth. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, Bex, but you misunderstood what I said. You said it's over. What's to misunderstand? I thought you were talking about the fire. What? I meant the fire was over. They haven't read the DNA test yet. <sighs> oh. Oh, but I hope you're sitting down. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> but I think Grace is about to find out the truth here any Kissing Ethan would make him want me again. But he wants Gwen. They're going to the mansion to make love tonight. Well, I can't wait to get to the mansion, grab some food, check out Leno and Conan, and then just go to bed. I, I can't wait either. I really missed our friendship, Gwen. So have I. So, what happened? Why didn't you go talk to Ethan? Oh, I am through talking, Whitney. You know, I am through hoping that I can get Ethan back on my own. No, no, Teresa, oh, don't start with this. Oh, that's right. I'm going ahead with Jillian's plan, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get Ethan back. Excuse me. When you were admitted for treatment, you didn't fill out all of your paperwork. Fine, what did you want to know? Who should your visit be billed to? Me. This is Julian Crane. Miguel! Miguel! W did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Miguel! Hey, Miguel! I, I, I knew I wasn't imagining things. Someone's calling my name. Well, just tell them to call back later. <laughs> We're busy. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing up there? Uh, you know, I, I climbed up here because the, the neighbor's cat was afraid of the fire. <clears throat> so I was going to save it, but it, it actually got itself down, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> Can you help me? Uh, yeah, sure. This is it? No, I still have time to avert disaster. Well, Eve has been so busy. I mean, maybe I should just read the results myself. Okay. See what they prove. Yeah, go ahead. Read the results, Grace. I mean, I'm dying to know the truth, aren't you, Ivy? No, Grace, don't read the results. Why not, Ivy? Are you afraid this is going to prove that John isn't Grace and David's son? And that Hastings is a fake hired by you to break up Sam and Grace? No, TC. Nothing as melodramatic as that. I'm just afraid the results are probably very technical and Grace might misinterpret them. I think we should wait and have Eve do it, but... Well, it does look like she could be on the phone for quite a while, so maybe we should just wait and have her do them tomorrow. Oh, no. Poor Grace has waited long enough. Eve! Hang up and come on over here. Grace wants to read the test results. John, David, Eve's going to read the test results. <sighs> so, everyone is here. Dr. Eve, the envelope, please. Do you really think that this is appropriate? I mean, here, with Pilar's house in ruins? You know, now that you mention it, I think this is the perfect place and time for Eve to disclose the DNA test results. Have you
Have you ever seen me before here at this resort? I'm really sorry. I can't help you. But I can't say if I've seen you or not. Hey. I know you wanted someone to recognize you, but even the bellhop doesn't. I know I was here before in this restaurant with my lover. Are you sure it was this restaurant? Was tropical like this well, then it may have been this restaurant or you could go to any other tropical island and i'm sure they've got a restaurant that's decorated just like this one okay, i see what you're saying it's just so frustrating to not remember my past i guess i'm just grasping at straws again or maybe i'm creating memories <coughs> hey, come on mm. you've had a long day let's go get you into bed <coughs> Remember when we used to rent videos and make popcorn and have soda and watch movies together? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do that again. Moulin Rouge is playing on pay-per-view. You know what? That is a great idea. <laughs> I'll get the ice for the sodas, and we can make popcorn here in the room's microwave. Perfect. <sighs> you know what? I'm really glad we came to Bermuda. I know you doubt that the key to my past is somewhere here in Bermuda. I just can't shake this feeling that there's something close by. Something or someone that can change my life forever. Teresa, you are bien, mija. Oh, I'm fine, Mama. Well, good. I wish I could say the same about your room, but it's got a lot of smoke and water damage. Listen, TC said you could stay at Whitney's tonight. Mama, don't worry about me. Where are you going to stay? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. Well, then I want you to stay at the Toll House Inn. Teresa, we can't afford that. Just don't worry about me, okay? I'll find a place to stay. Mama, I'm Mrs. Julian Crane. You can afford to stay at the Toll House Inn. Teresita, stop talking like that. You are not Mrs. Julian Crane. Deep down, you know I am, Mama. And as Julian's widow, I am one of the richest women on Earth. The crane money is evil. Forget about having it. Forget about getting Ethan back. To stay on this course will spell disaster for all of us. Well, everyone's waiting. Go ahead, Eve. Read the test results. Okay. Honey, are you all right? Yeah, considering what's happened tonight, I'm fine. I told Pilar that Teresa could stay with us. Then Miguel can bunk with you or at Reese's. No, uh, Miguel can stay at my house. No one condition. <sighs> that you follow my rules, right? Charity is an 18, right? And you guys aren't married. Now, I'm not asking what went on in your bedroom with Charity, but I don't want any of that going on under my roof. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I want you to sleep on the couch, not anywhere near Charity's bedroom. Okay. I need to count on you. Well, I'm staying at your house tonight. <gasps> I can't wait. Well, now that we have the sleeping arrangement settled, can we get back to the DNA test results? You're just hoping that the truth will cause trouble for Ivy, so you can worm in on Julian's fortune. Rebecca's reasons don't matter. Just getting rid of any uncertainty does. So go ahead, Eve, read the results. Let everybody know that John's my son.
Yes, Grace. You're right. It's about time that everybody knew the truth. Sheridan, I'm so sorry that you and Luis lost each other the way you did. Really, I am, but I finally have a second chance to make him happy. And I know as soon as he accepts the fact that you're never coming back, he'll see me the way he used to. And then Luis and I can have a future as a couple together. a little hot toddy. That should make your cough feel better. Thanks. Hey, you know, it's such a beautiful night outside. What do you say we go out on the balcony before we turn in? All right. I know her scarf's locked in the door. Don't want to rip it. I'll just knock. Chief Bennett didn't come right out and say it, but um, he wasn't very happy about finding you here with me tonight. Mm. Well, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. <laughs> no, Charity, your uncle meant what he said. All right, when I get to your house, I want to sleep on the couch. We can't do anything tonight. I'm going to take a look at the house again. I'll be right back. Okay. Leave him alone. Or what? Are you gonna torch your own house on fire to stop me from sleeping with him? I don't think so. I'm not gonna let you sleep with him. If you do, he'll die. Ugh. I'm ready to go. Okay. You know, I know my uncle said he couldn't come up and sit in my bedroom, but he didn't say anything about my coming down to the cow. Charity, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Yeah, right? Well, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> no one should deny our love, Miguel. No one. At long last, all the angst and agony I laid the groundwork four years ago is about to be unleashed on us. It's all over for you, Riley. Everyone's about to know the truth. There's no doubt that you're my son. Hey, I wanted to make sure you were okay before Gwen and I leave. I'm fine. Thank you again for saving me when my coat caught fire. I'm just glad I could help. Uh, Pilar, if you need a place to stay, uh, you can take my room at the B&B. &B. I'm gonna stay at the mansion with Mother. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, Ethan, I'm gonna stop off at the office and pick up some papers, so I'll just, I'll meet you at the mansion. Yeah, okay. Well, good night, everyone. Good night, Ethan. Hey.
I don't know what you're thinking, but I hope that you will heed what I said earlier. Do not cause any more trouble for you or Ethan. Go to Whitney's and stay there, okay? We will figure out what to do with the house and our living situation. Thank you, please. I'm ready to go, but I'm not going to your house. I'm going to go to my house. But your mother just said that not it's too bad that Mama's house. My house. No. Teresa, stop. Yes, Whitney, I'm going to go to the mansion. That is where I, Mrs. Julian Crane, will spend the night, the first night of my reign as queen of the Crane Empire. You know, it, it's probably just the housekeeper doing turn down service. I'll meet you out on the balcony, okay? Okay. What are you doing over there? Beth? Antonio? I thought you were Luis. You thought I was Luis? Yeah, we we came to Bermuda together. <laughs> Luis is gonna he's gonna die when he, he finds out you're here. <coughs> Hello? Anybody in there? <coughs> Just a minute. 